hello guys welcome back so in this video we'll be seeing one of the real-time scenario question of PySpark. okay so here you can see that we are having two csv files one is csv with header file and second one is csv with no header file so just i have created a dummy data set okay if you do not have these files you can you know create it by your own and i have put it this file into a dbfs database file system okay so here you can see when i did percent fs means file system head right so it gives me these two rows id saga to shivam and it is having a header like id and name and this is another csv file which is also i have stored in the dbfs right here i do not have a schema not a schema i would say we do not have any header cool now the question is or the challenge is that you know uh, our client you know your client can provide you the uh, file with the header and without header any day okay maybe you know today today you can say this is 2030 um, file right this file uh, comes uh, on this day right and this file since the location is same right and this file come on 06 tomorrow so you have to write your code like you know so that uh, if it is header it will skip the headers if it is not i mean if it is having header then it will take the headers okay cool so you know since we know that you know uh, this is the correct correct structure or uh, correct schema so i have created this schema right from pyspark.sql.types import star and then functions cool i think okay function is not needed so i can remove this cool so let me just run this so once i run this then you know you will be able to see if i print this schema then you will be seeing that you know i am having this this string this as a string cool now since this is a csv file right since this is csv file so i have written here spark dot read dot option header true header true means i will take i will take the headers i will consider a headers then option infer schema two so infer schema two means it will go and you know infer the schema i mean check the schema and get it so since we know that you know um, okay uh, it is also it is not needed but it is not needed uh, okay it is not needed it is not needed i can you know or i can remove this or you know i can also go for this option in first schema 2 and then csv right so here actually what i am doing since we have uh, you know right written this code and we have this in df right so i can call here df dot schema right so let me just you know remove this oh comment this comment and you know if i try to write here df dot schema then we'll see what it returns i have to use print maybe okay you can see that you know it returns me this which is nothing but a schema of a of this data frame or maybe of this uh, csv file okay id integer and uh, you know a string type we all have this cool now now since we already know that the schema should be this cool what i can do I can write this if else condition simple df dot schema it means if df dot schema the schema of this data frame is matching with the schema which we defined above if it is same right then what I will do I will write this into I will write this into a location saying over over right and uh, over right and save in the in some location okay so let me just take this thing output like this and if it is not matching then i will skip this you know or you know i can yeah we can skip this or you know we can write here pass also 
right so now currently it is this data frame is being loaded into this location in a delta uh, format cool so if you consider then you know if if you consider this example where we do not have any uh, you know we do not have any schema over here right we do not have any schema or right so what i can do if i remove this right and if i try to write here option infer uh, what is the spelling infer schema this is the infer schema cool and df dot show so here you can see we are having this one saga so this one saga is considered as a header okay as a header so header actually should be is should be false in this case the header should be false okay now you can see we have this c10 uh, okay so what actually i can do in this case i have to you know i can even though i can write here limit right and uh, we have this df right so in df if i just you know try to run this again then in the data frame the print schema will be like one integer and saga string so cool right so here also i can write df schema hmm cool and i can go ahead now now the question is that you know we have to merge these two cases right we have to merge these two cases so what what should be the case if it is see header this will be same print df schema will be same if it is matching then i will you know uh, uh, directly insert the data into a location and if it is not then what i will do you know first i will read that data frame again right data frame again with everything will be same cool everything will be same since we do not have any scheme i mean header so i do not need this infer schema option also over here header can be false cool and here i can write my schema and pass my schema right is it correct schema dot schema Oh, option schema schema i mean it is correct only right schema this should be this should come over here over here cool so yeah so i read it right and if i read it again then you know i can uh, write it also so i can use this again with no header okay i can remove this if it is not now you can also think of using uh, uh sorry sorry just a minute let me just make this code correct so here i will use path path will be this for now you know path will be this for now and here i will use f remove everything pass here path likewise i will do the same thing here cool and here also i will do the same thing no let me just undo this and here i will also do the same thing so remove everything put it like this now it seems okay so you know if i just run this then you will see that this wala function will be running okay so let me just like paint something so that we understand which function is running i mean which condition is running okay it should run yeah you can see right and if i you know make this if i use this uh, uh, header file with headers then this condition is running okay this is written this is running cool now you can see that this is the data frame right this is the data frame which is being used over here and you know uh, if it is matching i mean if it is matching then it it read only one time but if it is not matching then it's it is again i am doing this right so why can't i just use here limit 
if I do this again, then will it work or not? Yeah, it should work. Cool. Likewise, I can go for this. Now you can see it is perfectly running. We do not need to do anything, right? So this is the way you know how we can uh, make this automation. You know when uh, we when the file type is not defined. I mean the file uh, pattern is not defined. Not pattern. We we can say the headers are not defined. Cool. So you can consider the same scenario in maybe in a parquet file or you know some other other files also. Right, it happens actually. You know, in many sources, we do not know ki which type of data can can be inserted into a CSV or which kind of data we will be getting from the CSV or so any other file formats. So we can use this kind of code over there. Okay, maybe this is not much optimized way to do. You, if you have any other solution, you can you know directly ping me over the comments, uh, right, or over the LinkedIn. Cool. So we have one op. We when we we have one CSV library which tells us whether this CSV file having a headers or not. But that is a Python code. So I didn't. I do not want to use that Python code in the PySpark. Otherwise, you know this will not be in a distributed fashion. Everything will be will be uh, running on a worker on a driver node. Hence, I did not use any Python library over here. I hope you understood and you like this video. Thank you. Bye bye.